News items overwhelmingly focus on the rockets that have been fired from Gaza. What is not in focus are the shellings and bombardments on Gaza, which have resulted in numerous severe and fatal casualties. It does not take an expert in media science to understand that what we are facing is at best shoddy and skewed reporting, and at worst, willfully dishonest manipulation. Military attacks and violence in the Gaza Strip and Israel have resulted at this point in about 20 deaths, most of them Palestinians. The immediate spark for this round of violence was Israel's killing of Hamas military leader Ahmad al-Jabari on November 14th. But although CNN's Fred Pleitgen claimed that it's almost obsolete to try to lay blame on anyone, the fact is corporate media do lay blame, with timelines that almost invariably stress that Israel is responding to violent attacks by Palestinians. It was no surprise that the first sentence of the front page New York Times article November 14th states that the Israeli assault came, quote, after persistent Palestinian rocket fire, close quote. On NPR's All Things Considered, Audie Cornish explained that, quote, the strikes were in retaliation for the launching of more than 100 rockets at Israel in recent days, close quote. A timeline on the website Electronic Intifada points out events that corporate press mostly ignore. Israeli forces killed an unarmed man in Gaza on November 4th and a 13-year-old boy on November 8th. Gaza militants injured four Israeli soldiers in an attack November 10th, and Israel's three-day response killed five civilians, three of them children. That was when most of those rocket attacks in Gaza occurred. A tentative truce seemed to be in place as of the 13th. The next day, Israel killed Ahmad al-Jabari. There might be a number of ways to present that information, but sadly there's little mystery about how the U.S. press will do it. Bias and dishonesty with respect to the oppression of Palestinians is nothing new in Western media and has been widely documented. Israel continues its crimes against humanity with full acquiescence and financial, military, and moral support from our governments, the U.S., Canada, and the EU. The lack of widespread public outrage at these crimes is a direct consequence of the systematic way in which the facts are withheld and or of the skewed way these crimes are portrayed. We wish to express our outrage at the reprehensible media coverage of these acts in the mainstream corporate media. We call on journalists around the world working for corporate media outlets to refuse to be instruments of this systematic policy of disguise. We call on citizens to inform themselves through independent media and to voice their conscience by whichever means is accessible to them. Let's put an end to these crimes. Let's control our governments. Please use the tools below to share this video with everyone you can. You can subscribe to help build up this channel and the promotional channel, Rep Press, and you can join the email list or subscribe to the blog, because I've heard from many people saying they're not getting the new videos in their subscription feed. Also, these three videos are worth watching. That's why it'd be good to share this video with as many people as you can, because it also contains links to these three videos. See additional info in the video description.